to me, when I think of Pisces um, as like, uh, you know, within the feet, you know, like this is the root, you know, but it's not like a root, like a tree, you know, it's not like that earthy root, like a Virgo, you know, but it's more of a root, like I think of like seaweed, where it's like connected somewhere deep, deep down, but there's like this fluidity and movement to it. Um, so like, as you are, you know, finding your feet in this space and finding how your feet are rooting you right now. Um, and as you are rooted, you know, finding a little bit of movement and rocking because we're also holding the wateriness, you know, the fluidity um, of Pisces and not letting ourselves get too rigid, even if there does feel like we are in stillness. So take this time if you need to close your eyes, if you need to shut off your camera real quick, um, to just find your body first. Um, find your root. And as you are moving and just being aware of how movement is just always happening in the body, whether you're moving now or not, um, you know, also be aware of your breath and how it's filling you and nourishing you with each inhale and with each exhale to allow you to release something into the void. I think about Pisces as this sort of deep, deep water, like sort of the deepest realms of the ocean that nobody can even really travel to deep sometimes. And I think about that also like kind of in the abyss of our ancestral understanding, like, you know, there's a point where we know our ancestors' names, you know, for those of us who are fortunate in that way, um, maybe even our parents and, you know, grandparents. And then there's a point where like our ancestry just becomes this huge kind of like ocean of existence of people we're from. So I want, you know, as you are in this inhale and exhale, you know, releasing things into that massive, not quite abyss, but just like, you know, limitlessness, you know, that we're all a part of, even in this very terrestrial existence. 